what up what up fam my name is Wilson welcome to the channel where I'll talk about all things food delivery today we're on day two of market mayhem challenge where I'm going to be uh, doing food deliveries all over California we're gonna check out different cities around LA County first then we're gonna kind of start spreading out more I'm gonna enter uh, today's market is going to be Long Beach, Favorite, and all its surrounding cities. As you can see, I took this route because I wanted to get a quick view of the ports. So I'm coming in through the east, through the west, into uh, into what do you call this? Oh shit! Into uh, Long Beach. Look at this view, baby. We're up here on the San Pedro Bridge. There's actually another bridge coming up in um, a viewer bridge. Oh, there it is over there. I've been through it via car. I've never uh, passed through it on a, on a bike. So we're going to do that for the first time. Oh, those metal plates are so sketchy. Yeah, uh, we're gonna work the Long Beach area today. Check out all these sports, man. All the stuff you have on you right now, the, the clothes you're wearing, the, the gadgets you have, uh, the shoes you're wearing, all that probably came through these sports here. Wild. But yeah, we're gonna hang out in Long Beach today and see what this market is like. Pretty stoked on that. Man, those those plates back there in the rain. This is a wrap on the bike. I wonder. I wonder what it would be like. I just put air in my tires too to hopefully it would increase my speed. It did not. <laughs> it did not. So I'm gonna deflate them again. Just so they could be more comfortable. Yeah, I thought it would increase the speed a little bit by maybe a couple miles an hour, but it's not. It's the same. I think it's just more of a belt and roller thing. I have to do maintenance on that. But it's going to be a good day. It's kind of like sprinkling a bit. I know it said that it was going to be like 1, 2, 3% participation. So I'm probably get a little bit. Not, not, not enough to where I have to bring rain here, but a little sprinkles. And, oh man, look at that bridge. Alright guys, well, thanks for joining gonna be a good day day two market mayhem we're hitting up a long beach market let's get this money y'all you know i can't believe uh for years this thing was built and i had no idea of its existence they had an old bridge they used to have the old bridge right next to it i guess they took it down already but when i came here i was like what no way i did it i, I just discovered it completely by accident and i started watching videos on it yeah, like I said, they still had the old bridge next to it. Kind of like in San Francisco. I thought this was San Francisco when I seen it in videos. That's why I never, it never occurred to me it was in LA. But yeah, check this out. Sick architecture. It does look like the one in, in San Francisco. The one that connects you to the Berkeley and Oakland. That was also new. I wonder if it's by the same architecture, architect. Super massive pillar holding this all this weight down. Oh yeah, but there's Long Beach. That's Long Beach. There's an aquarium there. See some boats right next to the pier. There's Signal Hill over there on the left. All right. Oh shit, downtown. I think I exit here. All right. Get this money, y'all. I'm gonna start these apps out as soon as I touch it down. Yep, so it's downtown. Let's get these apps started. Let's start with Uber. Woo! How exciting. Yeah, I used to ride my bike all out here all the time. There's a bike lane right here from all the way uh, you can take the bike lane all next all, all down the LA River oh we're here oh snap son 
have to re I have to update my vehicle insurance for one of my I think the ruckuses, but I'm not gonna renew them. I don't think I'm gonna use them anymore. So I'm gonna take them off. All right, we got Long Beach, no hot spots, <clears throat> and now I'm gonna turn on the DoorDash hat. Yeah, so this is downtown um, LBC. You heard Snoop Dogg talk about it. With so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop D O Double G, but uh, somehow, some way, you know what something I'm talking about. And also, what's another one? Sublime sings this uh, in the song. They're from Long Beach too. Who else? Who else? I gotta look it up. See how many um, artists. Is this the jail? Where did I've been? I've been locked up here in Long Beach before. Is it here? They let my so I'll tell you guys that story later. There's also some pretty famous skate spots here. Oh yeah, let me turn on this DoorDash app. Hey, that's just great. Everything's great around here. Long Beach Terrace Theater. I think that's where the aquarium is. If I'm not mistaken. You know, I never actually been in there. I just know it's there. Might hit it up. Lunch time. This is the uh, Blue Line, uh, renamed the A Line, and um, one of the first trains LA ever laid out. Probably like in the 90s. Was it the 90s? Might be. Might be older. I think it was the 90s. Yeah, it's the one that connects LA downtown LA to Long, to Long Beach. I think the bus stop was there and then they added this loop through Long Beach like it goes it does a big circle and it reconnects goes back north I also worked over here I worked in the hood side of Long Beach which I think is more north yeah around Willow Willow Street I used to work there at a sprint store people come in there doing fraud all the time and one of them, I knew it was fraud, but I still wanted to sell. I was like, man, whatever. <laughs> now, uh, you could tell you, they'll teach you like what people come doing uh, with these fraud accounts. Uh, they had meals, so they'll, it'll be an actual person coming in with their ID and everything. And then the guy will tell them, hey, go do this, run your credit, get these phones out. And I'll pay you this much and then just don't worry about the bill. Just uh, flag it as fraud later. Clean it up from your credit report. They had like all these steps, right? And people were like, oh cool, quick money for sure. And they'll make like a few hundred dollars, mess up their credit. And they learn later that they actually cannot fix that. And in some cases, when they get caught, they can actually get in, into trouble. But anyway, uh, yeah, I worked on Willow, the Sprint store there. I remember that store. I would uh, take the train. That's when I was in driving. The train is really close to my house. Uh, but I remember that's the time I had like built this really nice road bike. And I remember I will I, I will ride it to the train, and then from the from the train stop to the store it wasn't a lot but it's just it saves you time because walking takes forever it's slow walking is very slow compared to a bike but that bike was probably worth like like three four thousand dollars i can't remember and then i'll take it in the train people just look at it i'm like oh shit i'm about to get robbed i want to like it when people say how much is that bike free motherfucker I stole this shit at gunpoint what <laughs> with so much drama in the LBC oh, come on. I want to hear Long Beach music it's a gin and juice by Snoop Dogg getting it started and right when I put that track on boom I get dropped with a $11 offer at badass breakfast burritos I know this is gonna be a cloud kitchen which is good. I'm gonna know where the cloud kitchen's at, but it could be a restaurant. I don't know. Could be, could be mistaken. I've been wrong.
I'm wrong about 50-50% of the time, you know, about a 50-50. So we're going to go, it's on Long Beach, 210 East 3rd Street, Long Beach. Look at this Honda Element though. Hell yeah. Washing it is overrated. I actually did clean my car like yesterday. Just because the window, no left turn, oh, it's a one way. Yep. This is what I'm gonna have to learn. But yeah, I just cleaned my car yesterday. Yeah, so yesterday, yeah, I took her to the car wash because that thing was filthy. I haven't washed it since uh, I came from my desert trip. Sand everywhere. I gotta change the air filter because. Man, I'm gonna need navigation. <laughs> Cause I don't know where I'm at. Beach is definitely quieter than downtown LA. So this place I gotta pick up at the dog house, which is actually this one here. Just gotta figure out how the hell to get inside. Rolling down the street, sipping out gin and juice. Where the pickups at? Get a quick beer. Uh, that's actually how I got in trouble the last time. I gotta tell you the story. I got banned from this display. I don't know how long the. Oh hi, a pickup for a van. Wow, it's not ready. So it was not a cloud kitchen, but it is one of those. Uh, kitchens in the restaurant so like the restaurant has a different like their like regular restaurant name and then like they'll make they'll like, have like two three different restaurants that they just cook there they use the kitchen in other words and yeah never really had food for one of those i'm interested though i'm gonna i'm gonna order some food from these cloud kitchens i don't expect it to be great but I want to see how how bad it is. <clears throat> All right, so this is four miles. That's how much this route is. All right, let's just get it. Eleven dollars in the bag. And we're going to the to the hood part of Long Beach, where I used to work. So um, <clears throat> when I <laughs> When I worked at these cell phone stores, I worked at a lot of them. Not, I didn't work at most of them very long. I worked a little bit and I'm like, yeah, this is not my team. I'm out. Or management. Usually it was management. Terrible management. I don't like to have a bad boss above me. I'll bounce. I'll only be there for like one, two, three month stops. It was uh, when I actually, there was like two locations where I actually stayed there for years. I really enjoyed it. Anyway. I would always be pissed when I will come, well, I'll have a day off and then I'll go to, to work, <laughs> talking at the lady, oh. I'll go to work and then they'll tell me, yeah, man, we got robbed yesterday. I'm like, you guys got what? Yeah, man, somebody came in and said, you know, give us the uh, phones and all that. And I was like, fuck, man. I should have came in yesterday <laughs> I've always wanted to be part of that drama man this is how you know I like problems I would like kind of feel like damn like it like a, some there's a part of me a big part of me was like man I wish I was here cuz you know I, I don't know I mean I wouldn't have intervened who cares take the phones they're all insured whatever if anything uh, we'll probably get a few days off while they investigate now they, they which they didn't they just Took a report, bounced. But I always wanted to like just observe these guys going in there, guns and or whatever, knives or threats. And um, I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, safe is back here. Uh, he has the code, she has the key, uh, the safe, and then you don't do this because then they'll lock. I'll tell them everything. I'll be like, yep. I'll let you look the registers right there actually all my co-workers keep their phones in this locker too by the way me I don't have a phone 
But I remember that one got robbed. The one uh, that I used to work out around here, which is this is I think this is Willow Street. Yeah, this is Willow Street. Oh, should I get in an Uber Eats delivery? 562. Let's see how much further is this one. Oh, it's kind of far still. Mm, nah, it's too far and it's the opposite way. So I can't do it. But that was a five dollar offer. Didn't make sense to add it. Yeah, this is Willow Street right here. My sprint store was it's probably a T-Mobile store right now if it's still alive. Is this a pillow in the middle of the street? Yeah, so it happened also they had me work at a mall. That one was the worst one. They put me at a kiosk. It's because here's the thing, when when you're in sales and you're a very a, a top performer, what happens with these stores is they want to put the top performer in the top performers in the in the cells that are struggling right the basically the way they look at it is that there's a company that owns all these sprint stores they have a, like a dozen you know of them some do good some do bad if, if the ones that are doing good they'll get the top sales reps and they'll put them in the weak stores to try to get the numbers up which I get it logically it seems to make sense right all oh, these get a lot of sales and they just put them uh, and these sorts of help so that's what happened that's what they'll do to me though like all right this guy is, makes money let's throw his ass out and let's put him at this store that we're just opening or it's it's, it's uh, low in numbers and I would hate when they would do that because not only did I not have a car for a long time I was on my bike so we'll mess with my schedule and everything right but the one time they put me in the kiosk in the mall, Westfields, over there by Baldwin Hills, man, that was, cause no one likes to talk pe to talk to people in kiosks at a mall, right? And don't you get that feeling like, oh man, these people are just trying to sell me shit? You avoid them, right? It's the worst feeling. Also, like, you, they were like, oh yeah, take it as a challenge. If you could survive here, you could like. I was like, man, you guys are full of it. I'm, I, I, this is a very bad positioning for me to just try to shove a phone down people's throat, you know? <clears throat> the only good thing about it was there was always a lot of women at malls just walking around looking hella fine on purpose to get picked up. But I remember even that kiosk got robbed when I wasn't there. That pissed me off so much. I was like, how the hell does a kiosk get robbed in a busy ass mall? Like you guys gotta start putting me you guys gotta start like scheduling me on the days where all the bad shit happens that's when i want to work if i'm not gonna make sales at least let me be there when there's some drama when there's some problems i want to see bullets flying around fists being thrown i want to see some smashing crabs <laughs> you know a little entertainment if i'm being underpaid at least but yeah, um, Willow's one of the like, stores that I missed out. But yeah, it seems like that was a common thing, you know. People just go in there smashing. They'll just grab a tablet, steal that shit, run out the store. I did witness that one time, though. I was like, I, as soon as he walked in, I was like, this guy looks sketchy as hell. I had my, like, my attention on him the whole time. I was helping somebody. I just kept looking at him. I looked, told my manager, I look, that guy. But as soon as that happened, who pulls the tablet on and just runs out and everyone's like just calm well, I guess he just stole the tablet uh, what's the next step I guess call security put a report blah blah <laughs> no one cares no one's money right so no one really cares I think the best <clears throat> fraudsters or scammers or whatever you want to call them there's thieves there's fraudsters or scammers there, there, you get all kinds of people when you're dealing with people and there's money and you have expensive stuff uh, in your store you're always going to have somebody coming in they're trying to cheat the system or try to take advantage or do some fraud or and um <clears throat> there was one in particular this is a common thing people would do they'll come and buy something like a small priced item uh let's say maybe something that's worth like five seven bucks and they'll come and um, they'll pay cash right and they're like oh yeah I'll take this they're talking they're like 
they're trying to distract you because they'll pay you they'll like give you a ten dollar bill and then they'll and then you'll give them back like the the change for ten dollars like you know they bought something for seven you give them back three dollars change and then they'll be like oh no where's the rest i gave you a hundred and you're like bitch no you didn't and you check i'm like no you're not gonna play with me all right cool you won't play that cool let me count my counter real quick let me let me count it and uh and then uh, I'll, I'll uh if i'm short if i know if i'm over a hundred if i'm over ninety dollars then that's your money and then i'll just be there like it happened i remember this one this one incident very clearly so i started counting all the money and then she was getting agitated like because you know she then she started making my i can't believe you guys make me do this i was like hold on hold on i'm counting this shit real quick and then like midway she's just like you know what whatever i don't care keep my money <laughs> she leaves <laughs> like you left because you know you're about to get caught in your little scam here but you know unfortunately people get people do fall for that and at the end of the day you gotta pay up that money or or they take it as you stole it and they'll write you up or fire you all right uh, my customer was actually down the street so i had to walk towards him real quick all right so i'll make a left somewhere up here and go to this hot spot over there by uh bamboo turt but yeah scammers man you get them all the time and there was one time where i was short 100 bucks i was like what happened sometimes you make mistakes sometimes you give someone back an extra amount extra money and they don't say nothing because they're like or maybe they don't notice right maybe they don't notice and then later on they're like how the hell do i have a hundred dollars extra that did happen to me once i must have missed something maybe i got scammed and don't even know but yeah people do that cash like they'll do different things too they'll confuse you they're like can you give me change for this and then they'll like they'll be like oh no this is incorrect or they'll do something they'll just they'll try to just fool you and trick you but they'll make it seem so casual and like oh yeah it is my mistake sorry what they want to hear is you apologizing because once you apologize it's done you already admitted fault and you just try to correct it right away which is that's where you're that's where you're that's where the scam kicks in and that's where they're getting that extra money from you from the register so you gotta kind of be on it you could feel it though. i'm like man you feel sketchy something about this don't feel right so i'm gonna be paying extra attention right now you know, we're talking about dumb shit trying to like put the attention somewhere else all right chipotle oh shit i just accepted so i didn't even two for 14. all right cool 25 bucks barely all right so i delivered here at this teacher resource center i don't know you could tell they're teachers though it's weird getting their training on probably i wonder what this place is it looks like this is yeah where teachers come get training don't beat up these children now they feel stuff what are what are the what are the teachers pushing nowadays these the universities universities are going wild right now she's calling me i got a 12 dollar add-on going all the way to carson i took it let's go let's go to carson um but yeah shout out to all the teachers out there uh it's a very challenging job you gotta have a lot of patience with uh 
anybody really just being with a group of people I mean it must be rewarding though right being a teacher because you're watching these little minds come together and they're all curious and shit curious about the world around them and you're just teaching them all these lies about the world oh shit I gotta drop off right here hold on little crunchy 20 of these bad boys two yellow chilies and four ensenadas those are 26 items right here jesus it's gonna be a i mean it could it, sometimes it sounds like it's a big order it's probably just one bag i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna find out right now the two crunchy tacos what is it let's look it up tacos crunchy two two per order potato and bean that's only two bucks it's gonna be kind of be like jack in the box you know get those two two tacos for for like a dollar fifty so they just got a bunch of them and then just trying to see how much it's gonna be you know 20 that's forty dollars and then what's the other shit fish yeah. fish taco that's like 15 bucks and then yellow chilies what's yellow chilies like $60-$70 man someone's gonna have a taco party check it out it's where the backpack shines baby whoo the hell alright well we fit oh yeah and the code was 307 I think yeah I got it right sweet now let's go drop off that chipotle order so what was I saying about teachers I actually had some pretty cool teachers man I still remember a lot of them. Mr. Rismario middle school that one was dope that's when I kind of now that I look back I should have been in theater because we had this one we had a like it was like health class and we had to show how oh man I should have picked that one up that was seven bucks right there for Uber shit same restaurant we had him could we reenact the scene of someone dying and we had to like bring him back revive him so your boy had a I had to do the the little electric shock to the heart homeboy passed away so I was like oh shit we gotta bring him back I'm not gonna lose him I'm not gonna lose him pumped him still dead I was like no I can't he can't go and then uh, my other buddy he was, he was in the scene too he was like no he's gone let him go and then I'm like no we can't let him go don't give up on them and then I'm like they're holding me back and shit and I'm over here trying to electrocute the motherfucker trying to bring him back it was straight theater there was the whole class is just dying and I'm I was for real I wasn't trying to give up on the guy but he died yeah I remember that class that class was fun as shit sixth grade then I got kicked out of that middle school forgot for what But yeah, I got some. I had some good teachers. I don't remember shit of high school. It was mainly elementary and middle school. Well, I was still kind of somewhat good. <clears throat> this is a one-way street, but I wanted to turn around and show you guys. Check out these little houses. It looks kind of. It looks fake. It looks like a like a TV. Sh like you know, have you guys ever seen that movie Truman? Where everything was awesome everyone was an actor and Jim Carrey was like the star he's the only one that did it wasn't in on it and it was just like a whole show that the world watched and it was all around all about him Truman and eventually he started kind of like seeing like he started noticing patterns and he's like wait a minute some shit didn't make sense to him like he had this fear of water 
because when there was a child they had a stage this his father's death that he drowned in the water so he'll always have this trauma of water that way he'll never venture out in the ocean and realize that that shit ended and he was just in a big dome wild scenario but uh that's that what's what those houses look like they look like that just like if it's all just staged and it's fake i wonder if there's any people even living in there 25 miles an hour see if i can dip to the right it's crazy how you feel that you can turn way more when you dip like this start centering your body towards the center your motorcycle like automatically starts straightening it straightening it out they teach you that shit in a uh, motorcycle course it's pretty cool you gotta lean into your turn well this is cool picking up the, the hero nero ramen spot so I gotta find it oh there it is yeah, this is chill it's like borderline chill and borderline I'm still in the I'm in the true men show one two three four five six items it says there's gonna be seven dollars plus so might be more this thing is loaded they got this really secured flat wrapped up in plastic bags they know how to package their stuff this is just going down the street I got my north and south all mixed up right now. I keep looking at the map upside down. Or I keep thinking north is south and south is north. I need to get my shit together. Okay, so. Alright, I think I got it. What? Pulling up to a car auto auction. This is the first. I got my element out of auction. Still overpaid for it somehow. That's like the... I thought I was gonna get a deal, but nope. Ended up overpaying. I just wanted a specific model. So I took a $9 delivery that is... Let me show you how many miles away from where I'm at. No, wait, how many? Shit, it doesn't show. Let's see, start. Okay, eight miles. But then I got another one that's a little bit kind of off course, but it's for 12 bucks. So I'm going to end up around the Long Beach area again, but I am going to take this very risky delivery. I do have a lot of time on this DoorDash one and this is a clear non-tipper because of the miles so it's all going to be mainly base pay so I don't have to hella prioritize it I think I could basically make it there on time but you know this is unfamiliar uh, like I'm, I'm un kind of unfamiliar how far things are so I could be wrong meaning I could be late but I doubt it I, uh, I received an add-on for Uber Eats I accepted it and I kind of saw the map but then I was like that doesn't make sense that one's gonna take way long and it's probably gonna for sure make me late on the other one but it did reveal where this one's going this one is that I'm doing on Uber Eats that's 12 bucks it's perfect it's on the way to where I'm headed. 
the other one was gonna take me literally the opposite direction of where this delivery is due so I canceled it saved my ass a violation there so I'm gonna end up over here in this little area that's just north of Long Beach so back into my territory baby what is that over there there's a lot of corporate uh, corporate offices out here I think because the, the land so spread out is probably cheaper than downtown of LA or that area they were to rent big old properties massive look at that building son you can see the ports in the distance and the bridges well I was able to see it from up there I started recording too late you can kind of make out the bridge and all those factories that are producing I don't know what that bus was smoking you guys seen that? I finally recorded too late but there was smoke coming out of that training bus to take that light but too late too late I got uh, six miles to go I'm getting hella bored out here oh man nothing exciting maybe it's the weather as well gloomy weather sun's gonna pop out in an hour or two I'm waiting for that look at this car right here this thing got wrecked that shit looks bad yo oh my god what the hell did they hit fucking stone they hit a boulder check out these ports There's so many of those imagine those things get AI in them they start walking around because it looks like it has got four legs, right? Like, that shit had AI, that shit starts walking around. <laughs> Train, I could grab that thing. So, back in Long Beach, it's uh, 12 30, so supposed to be lunchtime. I'm at uh, sitting on $67, barely. What time did I start? 10? Making like 25 an hour, maybe. Hopefully that turns around. I'm already getting hungry too. Might have to, uh, I'll, I'll push for another hour, hour and a half. Maybe take a lunch time. Nice, so I did get a, a double with Uber and uh, single one with DoorDash so I got a triple all of them seven each this one the over one this one's DoorDash I'm gonna do the DoorDash one first and then go pick up I'm gonna do the first the first DoorDash one and then I got an Uber Eats pickup I'm glad I'm getting a little action it's getting a little nervous this one's going just south Ooh, it's going by the beach cool and then in this next pickup is yeah I'll do that one right after this delivery sweet baby sweet where where does that put me seven 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 at 88 shit where the hell am I going Each convention center here on the right I do remember this shopping center here with the theater. I remember coming here to, uh, to come skate since when we were like teenagers. It was very easy to come over here because you just take one train. It just drops you off right here. Downtown Long Beach. I mean, yeah, Long Beach, right? Just skate around trying to find skate spots even though we didn't know how to skate. <laughs> we tried. I remember just alling off three stairs was a big deal. 
Oh, like this right here. I remember skating on this shit. I thought I was G, just jumping off of these stairs right here. What is that? Check out that building. It's the kind of stuff I like to see. She looks kind of old. Alright, uh, these, all these deliveries are going east. East Long Beach, baby. Not all the way east, I'm just it's heading east. I don't know what t what city is gonna be over there, but we'll see when we get there. This is one street off the beach, so if you look, if I look to the right, that's the beach. That's Long Beach. Sucks, it's a gloomy day. I had to come check it out real quick. Ooh, sun's coming out. Check it out. Oh yeah, red. See that island over there? And there's that tower. That's an oil rig underneath that that uh that uh building, that tower. That one too. That's an oil rig camouflaged as a building. Pretty interesting, right? There's a lot of them. Um, they're all over the they're all over the place, but I read I saw that in a video. And it's pretty clever. It's like a man-made island just to drill oil. Okay, this is Long Beach. All that shit that I was doing earlier, shit took me somewhere completely different. Because Long Beach does feel like a nice vibe. I like it. All that other stuff was very corporate-ish. Didn't feel like this Long Beach vibe. All the ports and the containers, all that. It's just different. This is um, what I was looking for. Yeah, this view tells it all. Check it out. The oil, the camouflage oil rigs. The shipping, uh, the shipping container ships in the distance. You got the. San Pedro ports that receive all those shipping containers the cruise ships and then downtown Long Beach so that's more like it and the sun's finally starting to come out I took my thermal out I deflated the tires a bit I went back to the way they used to be because yeah when they're over inflated they're way too bumpy it starts hurting my back but when I release some air, not too low, just like maybe a little bit above recommendations. It just you feel so much nicer just going over the bumps. It's a lot softer. But I headed I'm headed back to downtown Long Beach. And I decided to take the scenic route. We were just chilling on the grass. and I got a hit Uber Eats 4 bucks 4.38 absolutely not oh man I took a nice break at Panini just sat there and chilled oh it's nice I had the, the their lamb I never had it before it was alright let's try something different but I jumped back on it's 3 o'clock and I got a quick delivery 7 bucks I do have to go home pretty soon, so I'll probably just, uh, with this one I'll be at 95, I want to make at least 100 bucks and then head back. Because I got a show tonight and I got uh, some things to do. That show was just so impulsive. I was like, ooh, this band. I've seen them like three, four times already. I don't even know why I'm seeing them again. They're dope as hell though. I saw that they were playing at the Echoplex. I was like, sold. I bought the tickets without even thinking. Oh, I'm getting a DoorDash one. What? 26 bucks. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's going that way too. It's actually kind of going to where I... Check it out. 20... What? Let's do it. 27 bucks. Just as I was... 
talking about hitting a hundred. I get a twenty-seven. That's nice. After that, I'll go home. Shit. But anyway, yeah, I just bought the tickets without thinking. And uh, yeah, I'm sure once I'm there, I'll be like, hell yeah, let's do this, James. Is this it? Charlie's Tacos. This has to be it. Hell, <laughs> Chapo. Damn, we got all these crime bosses, all these. Pretty sick. Oh, that's right. Here in Long Beach, they have those uh, those races with those fast ass cars. What do they call those uh, Formula One cars? Is I think is that it? And uh, look, these are the gates that they lay out all over the place. They build a whole course, close down the streets. Pretty dope. I've never been to one. I'm actually gonna put that in my notes that to come check it out. Maybe I should come here through one of those events. Well, deliveries will absolutely suck because of the straight up road closures. Man, this is taking a little bit. I gotta get on, get moving. I think he's bagging it up. Yeah, he's bagging it up. We are good to go. Shit, these are bowls. So let me just secure them. So as they slide around in here. And we have a pretty long journey. So, oh yeah, they're not going to move anymore. Shout out to all the hustlers that got this backpack. I want to hear you guys' feedback. I want to see pictures and videos. Alright, let's go, let's go. I think this is part of the course. Ooh, that's far, son. That other one. 12 miles. Oh, I want to take the bridge. Let's do it. Alright, I'm going to drop this off and then we're going to take the bridge back. Right now that it's sunny, it's going to look sick. It's going to look super dope just those metal plates where the bridges connect it's like metal like a metal zipper almost and they do that so that in an event, an event of an earthquake they can kind of move back and forth buildings do the same thing without it causing uh, damage you know so it just kind of like moves around uh, but for these tires I mean the good thing is that these are wide tires they go right over them but it's still, you see the plate, you're like, oh shit, what's going to happen? Am I going to make it? Oh shit, did I go the right way? Damn. I might have just messed around and... Okay, there's still a way. Alright, cool, I'm still good, I'm still good. Man, the streets are empty. LA would have been packed with cars right right, uh, right now. Would have to been lanes with them. Oh yeah, this was definitely part of the course. The Formula One course. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ocean Boulevard. I am not taking the freeway just yet. Court of Long Beach. This is where I came to try to expunge that bullshit thing that happened where I got in trouble. So I guess I'll tell you guys a story. I uh, were hanging out with my, I was hanging out with my buddies in San Pedro. We were playing poker at his friend's house all night. Stood up, got no sleep. I think we laid down and took like a 30 minute nap and that's it. We got up and we bounced and we came to the port here in Long Beach still a little lit from the previous night we went to the uh, the ports and they have these big oversized plastic beer bottles and it's, it's the shape of a bottle so what they do is you buy one of those and then they'll put a whole six pack of beer in there and you could just walk around with that thing in your hand just drinking it you know so it was cool we all got one but we were sleep deprived and um, and intoxicated. Imagine that. 
something happened i have i'm pretty much blacked out at this time at this moment i guess there was a fight i was involved in some kind of fight some altercation even the, the cops were called the cops came and then uh i guess when the cops tried to like get my ass i think i like took a swing at the cop or something then they proceeded to beat the hell out of me woke up in the paramedics thinking they were slicing my me not knowing what happened right and then i me waking up thinking they're taking my organs out because i was a donor yeah and i was like no wait, i'm alive they're like relax relax you're just under arrest i'm like oh thank god then um yeah i was like in the little holding place for like three days two days and then uh i remember my public defender that was helping me was like he read the report he's like what the hell were you doing just he was like he's like a dad and shit <laughs> he was just talking smack it's like don't you know this is now you're gonna ruin your life blah blah anyway he got he got the he got the assault on the officer dropped he got that charge dropped he got a bunch of other stuff I think I got I just got like drunk in public or something well I, exp I tried to expunge that and um, and uh, I don't think that passed but it's already been like over 10 years that shit dropped good times oh yeah and the judge told me I couldn't go back to Long Beach and so man delivery uh, for yeah, James yeah here you go you, all right you, no problem cool Ooh, this is a del other delivery so yeah I guess the judge forbid me from coming back he said we don't want you clowns here he didn't actually say that but I'm pretty sure that's what he meant and I did I stayed away for a little while I was like, yeah, I have no business going to go in there. But yeah, that's how I ended up in jail out here in Long Beach and banned. Shit, I would have banned me too. I was a wild one, man, as a teenager. Wait, how old was I? Nah, I was, I was like in my early 20s. Don't know how to drink yet. Super irresponsible. But yeah, good times, good times. And this is a court, superior court. I tried to expunge all these misdemeanors that I had. This Long Beach one didn't work. I guess it's different from LA. LA. They were like, nope, can't expunge this. But everything in LA, I was able to expunge all those cases. Which uh, I know I mentioned it before, but if you guys need to expunge something, you guys live in LA. Hit up Wilster Attorney Services. I got you. Get that shit cleaned out. Speed limit is 45. And all these cars are like trying to do like 60, 70 miles an hour. It's like a highway to them. Oh well, let them with their brand new cars. They must feel like nothing in those cars. But check that out. Ooh, baby. Sick. That's the door. That's the side. You really can't see shit up here. You gotta pull over. They do have an emergency lane. The other bridge doesn't have an emergency lane. This one does. See, this is a newer bridge. Those metal plates all do the same thing as the other ones, but these are more modern. They're they're uh, horizontal, so uh, they just got little gaps. You you hardly feel them. But they meant to have that wiggle room, and so that an earthquake they can uh, go towards each other and spread out to reduce uh, damage. But the other ones. 
they're more old school and yeah more dangerous that's why I never did it on the bicycle I remember because I know you're not supposed to but I, I wanted to but then I remember doing it in the car and then seeing that I'm like dude my tire is gonna go in there like that's not safe at all I'm gonna have to get off my bike and run across that So there's traffic which I'm kind of glad that that it's it's running slow so I can go through those damn metal plates uh, slower shit if anything the speed might mess me up <laughs> I might fall in that shit at this at these speeds but you know I get to enjoy the view my buddy works out here should have hit him up so dope here we go we're gonna pass the first plates right here there they go oh there's not as bad as i thought check them out all right but a bicycle would definitely fall in between that here they go again okay these aren't so bad So up ahead, that hill over there, it's Palos Verdes. That whole area. Well, this to the left is San Pedro. Up there and the other side is Palos Verdes. And then uh, that's where the beach start again. All this is a bunch of cliffs. Oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. Okay, these are the first ones. And then the sketchy ones. Check them out. Could you lose control on these? I feel in the rain you could. Alright, so we're taking the 110 North. So I ended up uh, getting a quick Wendy's delivery for eight bucks, putting me at 130. So uh, not great, not not bad. Pretty cool to come out, and make some quick money in Long Beach. I want to go and check it out during dinner time, just like I want to go back to Downey and check it out during lunch time. Well, I got a lot of time. I got this whole month to play around with different markets. But I am going to wrap up this video for day two of Market Mayhem. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to start putting a link to uh, the support squad in the description. I got to do that tonight. We just want to um, help your boy out and be part of the... Uh, support squad I'm gonna have their uh, I'm gonna schedule some of the videos but the support squad will be able to see the videos right away as soon as I upload them boom no drop it's a good way of supporting me if you guys are interested you just want to help your boy out I think it's like three bucks a month but uh yeah I'm gonna just go home, upload this video. I'm gonna have it available for the support squad. But uh, tomorrow in the morning, it'll be released to uh, everyone. So, thank you guys for watching. Oh, yeah, let's see how many miles I did today 98, 90, 94. Cool, cool. Gotta get home. It's uh, 13 miles from here. So I'm gonna be at a, a nice right over 100 bucks. I mean, right over 100 miles. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys on uh, tomorrow's video. I don't even know where I'm gonna go tomorrow, but I'll catch you then. Peace.